Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel for this week's plan with me. I start by marking off some of the to-dos from the week before, before moving on to planning my next week. Now this week I wasn't really sure how to engage with it. It was one of my last weeks mostly off before going back to nannying and stuff a little bit. And I wanted to work this month very much so on writing because that's been a goal that I keep repeating and keep not getting done. I don't know that I'm going to make the deadline this time either, so I'll just re-up that goal again. But I found a 30-day really simple writing challenge that I wanted to start this week. So I start by splitting the columns so that I can organize morning and evening tasks and put down my week's main goal as writing. I quickly jot down my habits and skills section. I never actually fill this out, but that doesn't mean that stuff doesn't get done. It's just that I, I'm not good at filling out habit trackers. I always love the idea of them, and I think they look pretty when done right, but I never get it done. On Tuesday in the afternoon, one thing that I knew I was doing this week was batch cooking. I was doing the meal plan called Memorial Day. And so I put down the slice of pizza because there is a barbecue pizza involved in that week's meal plan. And then on Thursday in the morning, I was going to be nannying. So I put down a little page flag and a you can do it sticker to mark that down. Wednesday is our regular recording day for our podcast. So I put down our appointment sticker for that. And also on Sunday, we do been trying to schedule it twice a week so that hopefully we get it done at least once a week. So those were the set in stone tasks for the week. So I jumped over to fill out my to-dos for the week. I didn't really feel like listing everything out the way I normally do. So I did just want to remind myself to invoice somebody. And then on Wednesday, I wanted to call the unemployment office because we're still having some issues with that so we put down this circle telephone sticker and then my gym stickers so i i wasn't sure how much i wanted to include in the weekly spread because it was more empty because i didn't have big tasks or work projects to do i decided to get a little more into the details that I usually save for a daily spread. So I put down all of my yoga plans for the week. I've been working my way through a playlist I created on Ohm Stars, which is Kino McGregor's yoga channel. I decided to finally just get myself that program. It's, I believe, $15 a month. And I just wanted to be able to have all the yoga videos I want in one place and really dive into Ashtanga Yoga again because that was the best workout for me that I've gotten into and I want to get back to it. So I just marked down the videos that I wanted to do for that. Next I put down these little check marks to mark down my writing challenge. So I put a check mark on each day. Monday the challenge was to determine my themes and conflicts, write the main bio on Tuesday, Wednesday, I needed to write other character bios, do an inspiration board on Thursday, a journal entry from the main character's point of view, Friday, and then Saturday was a day off, and then Sunday I needed to do the final writing challenge. So I went through and filled that out. And I like how it ended up looking and there ended up being plenty of space to mark down all of it, which I never feel like there will be enough space in these columns, but there is. Now things in the world have been a bit crazy. Um, so, I hope everybody is doing okay and taking care of themselves and it's just been crazy. So I, next week I didn't end up doing a plan with me again because I just keep getting overwhelmed, <laughs> but I think I'm going to do a rewind or a memory plan just to make sure I'm still showing you guys what I've been up to. 
for Saturday. That is usually my self-care day. I started doing a traditional Ashtanga practice called an oil bath in addition to my just cleaning myself uh, routine. Uh, and it's just using almond oil and putting it on my scalp and on all over my body and letting it soak in for a bit before showering and taking it off. And I figured that that would actually be good because I always have an itchy scalp and then I have the rosacea and I feel like doing a treatment like that would probably be good for my body and it's supposed to be good for your muscles and stuff as well. So less muscle pain, less chance of injury. Now I recorded this on Monday and I wanted to get a couple things done. I wanted to edit the podcast and upload it and I wanted to finish the wall tile in my kitchen. Spoiler alert, that still hasn't happened. I got it mostly done and then I had to order a couple more squares and I've never finished it. I'll get to it eventually. So I also wanted to jot down my Spanish for the week so I just did one unit per day, jotted those down. I didn't end up actually finishing all those units by any stretch, but it's just goal planning more than anything. So it's not like I'm failing by any stretch. All right. So my personal to-do list, I wanted to pay my new car registration, put up the wall tile. Um, and then I've been reading Half-Blood Prince and wanted to watch Minority Report. I haven't been able to focus on things, though. I did watch the Kimmy Schmidt Choose Your Own Adventure story on Netflix, though. Now, the problem with me putting all of my challenge tasks in my weekly spread is that then this section right next to my writing goals uh, didn't actually have to-dos to list because they were already listed, so I just put dive into the writing challenge. So that's pretty much it for this week, a pretty straightforward week for me, Um, and it was nice to be able to just work on goals rather than have a week full of busy to-dos and work tasks. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe, and I will be back soon with another plan with me.